For the first time in decades, inflation in Argentina has surged past the 100% mark, hammering salaries and the spending capacity of ordinary citizens. While the situation has pushed up poverty levels in the country by 40%, the crisis has dented the popularity of the Peronist government ahead of the general elections scheduled for October of this year. It has been nearly three decades since Argentina saw its inflation spiral out of control. Lingering heat wave has caused the worst drought in decades, affecting soy, corn and wheat crops. This has adversely impacted agricultural exports, knocking billions off the economy while fanning domestic prices. Experts believe that the flood of cash brought into circulation by the Central Bank of Argentina is also to blame. But it is the common person on the street who is suffering the most as uh, one makes trips to the grocery store to buy vegetables and meat with inflation at a staggering 104.3% in March. According to official figures, many say that they are barely able to survive. In my case, for example, zero capacity of ahorro. Eh, bajé casi un 60, un 70% con respecto al año pasado, eh, de lo que pude haber ahorrado eh, a, al día de hoy. Y nada, qué sé yo, tratando de pensar que en algún momento vamos a poder estar mejor. Tenemos un país como para poder estar mejor, pero bueno, lamentablemente nos administran de una manera muy mala y bueno, padecemos estas cosas. Pero es terrible, es terrible la inflación que se vive hoy por hoy en Argentina. Jamás visto. A New South Wales man, 55, has today been charged with a foreign interference offence by the AFP as part of a counter foreign interference task force investigation initiated by ASIO. The Australian national who normally lives overseas is scheduled to appear in court on one count of reckless foreign interference contrary to section 92.3 of the Criminal Code Act 1995. The maximum penalty is 15 years imprisonment. The Australian man who operates a business overseas recently returned to Australia. He was arrested at a property in Sydney today. While the central bank poll forecasts annual inflation to hit 110 per cent this year, it will likely be one of the deciding issues for voters in the October polls, as President Alberto Fernandez's approval rating decreases due to the soaring inflation. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.